Kakalosh Bokatov, we're just continuing with the halachot of Pikuach Nefesh. Yesterday we spoke about that even in a case of Safek Pikuach Nefesh, you would be Mechalel et Shabbat. And also we spoke about Safek Hatzala, which means even if you have a doubt whether you could actually save someone or not, you're supposed to come and be Mechalel the Shabbat in order to save a person's life or even if it could save the person's life. Some people say that you do not, you're not allowed to be Mechalel the Shabbat if it's going to be a refuah she'ena biduka, which means, let's say I have a type of a refuah, a type of cure that I would be able to do. Obviously, it entails in Chilul Shabbat, but it's not checked, which means it's not verified that it's actually going to work. So some people say that you're not allowed to be mechalel Shabbat in such a fashion, because at the end of the day, since it's not checked into, so therefore it's not going to help. Now, we are going to be mechalel the Shabbat even for refuah tevit, which is called nowadays uh, Refua Alternative, which means alternative medicine, which means that some people actually helps for this holy, for the sickness, you're allowed to do that on Shabbat. Some people say to do with Refua Segulit, that you're not allowed to be Mechalel Shabbat for Refua Segulit. However, some people say that if it has a Chazakah, that it does help for some people, so therefore you are allowed to be Mechalel Shabbat. So all these are different types of, whether it's called medicines or different types of cures that we were talking about. So again, one more time, to do with the refuah which is not checked. Some people say you cannot do so. Why? Because since it was not checked, so therefore it's not verified, so you don't know if it's actually going to work. The other one, which is refuah tiv'it, you're allowed to. So natural, you know, amopetia, all these other types of, uh, of medicines, you're allowed to actually come and be mechalel Shabbat in order to get these things for a person. And refuah sigulit is actually going to be a machloket. What about refuah nisyonit? And with this we'll finish. What is refuah nisyonit? It's a, te- it's a trial, which means that they haven't proved it. It's not, but they're actually testing it out. So it says over here, mechalin Shabbat bimkom sakana, even for refuah nisyonit. Because Nisyonot Refuim Kayom, right, at the end of the day, they have a lot of uh, purpose to it. And the majority of the times, they've already actually had a lot of success. Which means that there's going to be a difference between Stam that it's never been checked before, or that it's been, it's in the middle of the makings, but they've already tested it out, but it's in the middle of the trials. The majority of the time, when it's in the middle of the trials, they've had success in the medicine and therefore it's going to be okay if they've never tried it out at all that's when it's going to be a problem so these are all different types of medicines or different types of procedures that you're able to do on shabbat for a holiday